The iPad's dock is where your favorite apps can be quickly accessed when you're ready to complete your tasks on your iPad. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to set up the dock the way you want, including how to effectively use it on your iPad. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. The dock is the tiny horizontal bar that appears along the bottom of your home screen and is accessible on every screen in landscape or portrait mode. By default, the dock is split into two sections. On the left are the permanent apps. These typically are apps that you use most frequently and that you've added manually. The right side of the dock populates your recently used apps. You can even see your app library. You can control what you see on this side of the dock inside the settings app. The dock is always present on the home screen. When you open any app, it is hidden. So if I open Safari, you'll see that the dock is hidden here. If I want to bring up the dock while I'm in Safari, I'll just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access the dock. You don't want to swipe up too far because you'll come into the app switcher or maybe even close the app. So what you want to do is just swipe up from the bottom of the screen until you see the dock. Apple allows for customization of the dock. You can choose what kind of apps appear in your dock and the removal of the app library if you choose. Here's how to do that. So we've mentioned before that the right side of the dock is reserved for recently used apps, which continually populate as you open new apps on your iPad. If you're not happy with this feature, you can turn it off. So to do that, we're going to locate and open the settings app. Now we're going to tap on home screen and app library. And now you would toggle off show suggested and recent apps in the dock. And if you want to remove the app library from the dock as well, you would toggle this switch off. Now I'm going to swipe out of the settings app and you'll see that that right side of the dock has been removed. Once you've removed the app library and suggested and recently used apps from the dock, you can put your favorite apps in this area. So we're on the home screen. We can remove apps from the dock or add apps for, to the dock. So if I push and hold on the screen until the apps begin to jiggle, if I want to remove apps, I can just drag them up and put them on the home screen. Same thing applies when I want to add an app to the dock. I can just drag it down and add it. The dock, depending on what iPad you have, and I believe that the iPad Pro can hold the most number of apps in uh, the dock, and it might be around 16 or 17. And then I think the least amount for like a regular iPad would be about 13. But you can just drag apps into the dock, and you'll once it's filled, it won't allow you to add any more apps to it. And when you're finished adding or removing the apps that you no longer want to see on your dock, just tap anywhere on the empty screen so that the app stop jiggling. And now the iPad dock is set up the way you want it. If you want to reorganize your dock, it's the same process as I just went over. Push and hold on an empty area of the screen and then you can position the apps wherever you want them inside the dock so that the dock is completely set up for you. The dock adds to the multitasking power of the iPad 
making it convenient to switch between apps and change apps in split view and slide over. When you use slide over on your iPad, you can simply drag an app from the dock onto the screen to open the app as a floating window. So I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access the dock. I'm going to push and hold on my email app and drag it onto the screen and drop it. And you'll see that it becomes a floating window. If I want to close that window, if I come up to the three dots at the top and click on it, you'll see an option to close. I'll tap on that and that uh, slide over window disappears. To use split view on the iPad, you'll drag an app from the dock to the edge of the screen to split the display and use two apps simultaneously. So for right now, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and grab the notes app and drag it over to the very edge of the screen and drop it. So for example, if you're reading an article in Safari and want to take notes on the article, swipe up from the dock, access the notes app to open the notes in split view. I have a more detailed video on multitasking on the iPad, and I'll put a link in the video description. Now you know how to make the most of the iPad dock from adding your favorite apps to using it for multitasking. Once you set it up the way you like, you'll find it's a real time saver and makes navigating your iPad much easier. Be sure to check the video description for that link to my more detailed multitasking video if you'd like to explore that next. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.